everyone, welcome to another episode. Before we kick this one off, we just want to say a huge thank you to Jason at Barnabas Junction. On Tuesday, he invited us over for a live to join his live. And I know quite a few of you follow him. If you don't, check his page out. He's a brilliant uh, model railwella. There, put my teeth in. I can't do this at the moment, guys. Um, he's double O gauge as well, and he's just brilliant. And if you haven't seen it and want to get to know a bit more about us as well, the live is available for replay. But again, it's a thanks to him of how the channel's grown. And on that live, we actually reached the mark of over 2,000 followers as well. So big thank you, Jason. You know, you've been a big supporter and to all our followers who have stuck with us. So today's episode is about getting my pins, the track pin down. Now, we know Rob hasn't been... He's been kind of sidetracking, as we said on our last episode. But now I'm back in the shed and I'm dying to get back to it myself. We're going to look at pinning down this outer track as well as finishing the outer track. It's a bit of a funny one, you see, because to do the top track, we kind of need to make sure the inner track is sorted. So today's going to be about doing that. And hopefully by the end of the episode, we should have a train running. So we'll catch you later on. Bye for now. Why am I up here again? Right. So, because we mentioned on the live about laying in the inner track, and yep. you've been nagging about it, and a few of the others have been wanting to see various things, and threatening to put me under the patio, which is still a possibility, what we're doing is we're going to just temporarily lay out the inner track so we know what we're doing with it, hoping it'll fit. And then we're going to be sticking the cork down, the one that I made a very stupid mistake on, but I'm hoping to hide it with a ballast because I don't like waste. And why do you think you're up there, Grace? Well, we did mention in the live about me being Grace size. And um, I, I definitely think with our viewers, we're, we're keeping that. I do like that. I like Grace size, I do. But good things come in small packages, which means I'm a titchy one set up on here because I'm not sure if it would hold your weight, maybe. You trying to say I'm fat? No, I'd never say such a thing, dear. Andy, Jason, she's going under the patio, all right? So what we'll do is we'll crack on, um, do a little hype lapse of this because I don't want to bore you with long bits. Uh, I'll catch you in a bit. corner but we now have our inner layout sorted so the next step for this is just getting your pen pencil drawing around the tracks so and then you have your inner track line done ready for gluing corks down Right everyone, we're getting nearer to the end, getting nearer to me off the naughty step. Um, as we can see here, I've drawn my line, I've gone all around the track now, so I have my outer line ready to do my corking. Now, Rob mentioned he made a slight boo-boo. No, I didn't. Are you sure? You're really sure? My nose might be getting a little bit longer. Well, it, guys, if you're not inclined to believe, Rob, I actually have proof. This is the double O gauge cork that we initially had Rob went and bought some more however I suppose I did the same when I built the kit he bought N-Gage oh it's just depth perception <laughs> so what we're going to try and do now is lay this down still because it does fit throughout the track 
However, if anybody has found their self in the same position, tried to use it and found that it doesn't go very well or it causes problems later on, please let us know. Obviously, it's a lot easier for us to fix now and go throughout than if we go back later. So any comments on that, good and bad, just let us know, please. So obviously, the first laying out, a lot of you know how to do this anyway, don't you? Um, but we're just going to go along our line here and weigh it up. Problem is, as you've got your corners, you will have to make small little nicks just for that cork to bend with the corners. You don't always have to, Grace. I mean, what I've been doing is I've been penning it down and if it rises, I'll put a pin where it rises. You're supposed, technically, you are supposed to put little nicks in it on the turn. Um, that is the best way to do it, guys. I don't like doing things the best way. I make it difficult for myself, don't I, Grace? No, only you do. Oh, okay. That's my job for you. Right, okay. So, we're going to go and cut ahead and I'm looking here at my line and I can already see it's starting to lift. So I'm just going to make a very small nick. For me personally, I would rather make a few little nicks just to keep that shape. In case you hadn't noticed, everybody Grace is the perfectionist. It's, Aren't you dear? Except when building my last kit, because that didn't go very well, did it? It did but, with Jerry's help. Yes, without Jerry's help, it wouldn't have. Let's put it that way. What was his comment? He wouldn't be able to get his T-shirt off or something, didn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm just making sure it's lined up. Uh, the only thing I have found when putting the track on, I don't know how well can people see this, Rob? Uh, the camera angle. I can zoom in a little bit. That's the maximum zoom. Oh, OK. We can always give people a close up later. The only problem with the end gauge is just making sure your rails themselves are on the cork. But I found by lining it up with a line, it's absolutely fine. Lining it up with a line. More Gracies. Well, I have my own gauge, don't I dear? So we do joke guys, I have my own language. I'm sure if you need translation, Rob will give you that. Or you can always put YouTube captions on and see what they make of it. Yeah, this is true. They're not very good with their captions, are they? We have found that. So guys, I'm just going in here, making my little nicks. But as you can see, the track is starting to go away. So what I'm going to do now is start gluing and pinning down this cork just to make sure the bottom bit is supported. But I have my first few nicks in that are going nicely around the corners. So we're just going to glue the first bit down. Now, one of our subscribers did mention, because Robert used the tile adhesive, and the problem with the tile, was it tile adhesive, Rob? Um, no comment. <laughs> But the problem with that is due to the sound, because it dries quite hard, that can increase the sound. So we are going back to the PVA glue. Luckily, the weather is a lot nicer and a little bit warmer as well. So it won't take as long as it was during the freezing months of winter. Yeah, we had a great comment. <clears throat> as we say, but as we said all along, we love the comments, feedback, hints, tips, constructive criticism, anything like that. We love it. And one of the comments was that, <clears throat> excuse me, the tile adhesive dries rock solid, which it does. Um, and that the fact that the PVA will be slightly more cushion, give more of a cushion and slightly dampen the sound a bit more. So, yeah, we thank you very much. I do apologize. I can't remember your name, but thank you very much indeed for that tip. As you can see, guys, my gluing is a little bit neater than Rob's as well. I think this is why he does get me to do the fiddly bits, because I am a bit of a perfectionist. Can I just point out one thing? Come on. You need more glue on it. I'm just doing my base coat first. All right, you need so more glue on soak it. In. See, she doesn't know everything, guys. But you do your first coat to let the first lot soak in. Nah, 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 nah. 
he's got he's signed that up against the artist here obviously you can see it's not perfect the glue is going slightly but again the great thing about pva is it does dry clear doesn't it so even if like rob you use a massive size brush or you might not have a smaller one at least with the pva you've got that Guys, guys, we've got it on camera. She said, even if it does go wrong, she said it the word wrong on video. No, when I apologise to you is when you want recorded, isn't it? Hell yes. And you're never going to get me to apologise on camera. Hell will freeze over, I think. So we're just lining it up here. The other thing that we have been doing just to keep it in place while it's drying is just pinning it down so we've got our pot of pins oh let's throw them everywhere guys grace making a mess as usual and me tidying up all your messes as usual so i'm just going along guys woman with a hammer what can i say a woman with a hammer, what do you have to say right at this very second? I was actually about to say I was joking. I think you know me better than that. <laughs> that's, that's why I hadn't flung the hammer yet. I don't want to damage the phone, you see. All bash my finger, so... Oh, I don't mind about your finger, I won't feel it. See, guys, he doesn't mind if it's against me and myself. Me and myself. Me, myself and I. Me, myself and I. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be me, myself and Irene, Jim Carrey. So we've got that first bit glued down. We're just going to carry on going along and sourcing this out. What I think we'll do, guys, is pause this for a minute. And then when I get to the corner, because I don't think you want to watch me just gluing a little bit. we are got come back on when I'm doing the corner to show you how I'm doing that. Guys, to save this woman droning on, I'll let you have a bit of a break and we're now getting onto our corner. You saw me just before, I put a slight little nick here. I don't know how well, Rob, how well is it seen, is it? Is it I'm not commenting. No, I need to know because I can't see the camera. Is that nick easily shown on the camera? Uh, I'll try and zoom in. <laughs> no, I won't, it doesn't want to zoom. <laughs> Technical difficulties, guys, just like the other night. <laughs> yep, but there is a nick there. We can see a nick. So I am going to go and just glue this bit. I'm not going to stick it down yet because I do need that flexibility of this to get around this corner. But it's glued up, ready for when I'm ready to stick down. And that glue has actually given me a little bit of stick that I'm going to need. So, as you can see here as well, I have left that slight little gap above the line. That is due to matching it up to the track. And I'm just going to follow this around. This can actually do a pin where the first nick is. Again, that's just to hold it in place while I start moving the rest of the cork. And then I know where it's lifting and where it needs a nick. There will be quite a few in this corner. I suppose patience is the key. I myself don't have that, so. But as we're starting to go, we've got a nice little curve there as well there. And I did put in a second nick. So as it's coming round again, it's already done. Because I have found this, this cork does have a slight play in it. So you can get a slight bend, but for your turns on your track, it's not really enough for that. So you do have to get the blade out and add that to it. I'm literally gluing this bit by bit now because I really want to make sure I'm not really getting rid of a cork. You know, I'm not having to chop out loads of it where I don't need to. 
<clears throat> so it is a more fiddly process, I will say that. But I suppose the scenery is going to be as well. So it's a bit of practice for me. So again, we've got that first nick down. As you can see, it's starting to move when I put it in position. So I will add another nick. I've actually realised I need to add an extra one between the two that I've already made. Are you saying you might have made a mistake, Grace? I have not made a mistake. Misjudged, now, perhaps? No, now I'm lining it up. I was testing. I was really? testing you, yes. Ever the perfectionist. Misjudged. So now I have that extra nick in there, which was totally plain, guys. I was just waiting to see if Rob would say anything. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. It was all part of my plan. You, you did it deliberately? Yes. Right. I did it to see if you would comment. I didn't realise that we were so close to the fields of cows that I could just actually s smell something. Rob, it's not fields of cows I'm going to have, it's fields of horses. Don't start on the horses, there's too many. Never have too many. Jason, don't you dare comment about the horses. Ab is not told anyone else to, so if anybody else wants to comment about the horses, please do. So I'm just going to start pinning around this corner now as well. I will put pins closer together again because of it being the corner and... You just enjoy having a hammer in your hand, don't you really, Grace? No, why would I? All I can say is it's better than a shovel, a bag of cement and a bag of sand. See, be grateful. Slabs. Be grateful what you get given. Be grateful for wanting our followers to help you put me under a patio. Well, no, we need a new patio. That's, that's all we're simply talking about. You might... Yeah, but I don't want to be part of the patio. Well, you are. You're going to be helping me build it, aren't you? Oh, so I'm building my own grave now. Yeah, why not? Saves me doing it. Thanks. So, as you can see, we're about... I don't know, what would you say? We're coming up to halfway of this corner now. Um, we've already made three nicks into the cork. Sure, that's enough. Well, I don't know. If someone had got the right gauge cork... You would still be putting the same amount of nicks in it, possibly more. Hmm. It was a deliberate ploy to see if you'd spot a mistake. That's what you just said, and that's what I'm going to stick to. Ah, too. right. So the only time you listen to me is when something you can try and say that you're right, yes? I'm always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. <laughs> Guys, I'm losing count. Did anyone know on which round and who's winning these rounds? Because... I've kind of lost count now. If, if anybody has an idea, please let us know. Yeah, but it's unfair because I'm the one that's constantly wrong. I'm Apparently. Not. I'm fair. Fair? You wouldn't know how to spell fair. I... A M A L W A Y S R I G H T. See what I mean? You don't know how to spell fair. <laughs> That's not how you spell fair. I'm right, guys. She's wrong. <laughs> Which order are we doing that video in, Rob? Which order are we doing what video? The video in? that you're tapping away at, because I was going to tell people why you're tapping away. Before or after this one? that we're recording. Well, by the time people are viewing this, then the video I'm uploading will have already been viewed. Ah, so guys, if you haven't checked it out at this stage, a lot of you asked on the live, our more silent partner in this, the J to the RGJs, John. He has a N-gauge layout and Rob is in the process while we're recording of uploading his layout. So if you haven't seen it, head over to our previous videos and it will be on there. Or if you go into the playlists 
I'm going to put it as the latest video in the update playlist. Give it a watch. It's a bit long, um, but you will see some incredible things in there. As we've said, John's done all the 3D printing himself, the electrics. Um, for a gentleman that doesn't understand why people get into it, he's, as we've said, he, he's now expanding with another 8x4 board. And trust me, it's well worth watching all of the video because you, you may miss things. It is beautiful. You finished yet, Grace? Right, do you, do you want to do it back your messy way with the wrong product, dear? It worked. It was stuck, wasn't it? Mm. And did I not have to clear up some of the tile adhesive to lay this bit? I'm not making a comment on that. Yeah, I thought so. I can't remember what Pinocchio said. Possibly. Your nose grown, dear. So guys, we're getting around this corner now. Basically, it's the same as you go. I would suggest just slowly follow it round, do a little bit at a time, as you've seen me doing, and decide where your nicks are. And of course, the pins are a lot closer together and down the line, especially near the sections that I have cut. And make sure you cut, do enough nicks in it, or not like Grace did. You can always add in nicks, it's better to add and take away. Yes. So I win that one. Again, I don't know who's winning at the moment, but I'm just going to say Well, me. if we ask our regulars, uh, Lord Allen, Hot Dog Andy, I think his um, YouTube thing is, uh, Barnabas, everybody like that, we know they're going to stick up for you. Yeah, so I think on that. And we'll do a top gear here on that note. I'm going to carry on with this, guys. I'm sure you don't want to see me gluing this for the whole way unless you like our boxing rounds. Hopefully then we get this laid down and start testing the locos on the track. We'll see you later, guys. Take care. Bye.